is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by Hey, what's up? You're Doesn't with uh, old Jimmy. Me and Ash are here. Ash is actually editing. We came here early this morning. It's Super Bowl Sunday, and the Bucks are playing in the Super Bowl. Couldn't tell you a single player on the team other than old TB, the GOAT himself. We came here to get some footage of our propane. So we promised you guys last week that we were going to do an in-depth video on our propane setup. This was totally new to me. I had never, with the exception of maybe changing out a propane tank on a gas grill. This was totally new, running lines, making sure we have all the fittings, you know, leak sealed and testing leaks and running them through the bus and then even making the propane frame. So all brand new, but we're very proud about what we were able to accomplish. We can now cook things in the bus which is pretty awesome. And if we had our drain set up, we could even take a hot shower. Whoa. I'm gonna show you exactly what we did, how we did everything, and um, hopefully it'll help you guys in the future. And if you're not building a bus, hopefully you find it interesting. Cool. Oh. I wanna weld D-rings on this side of the bus, probably two on each side, and then same thing for the storage compartment. So I can just have this hang open, but for now, this will have to do. Check this out. This is our propane setup in the back here. It's very sturdy, all made from super strut and old metal from the bus. It's not boxed in in the back yet. I do plan on eventually putting, similar to this, wall in the back. You know, blockage of any potential explosive devices, you know, a rock or a muskrat might get back there. So these are just standard grill tanks. We have this line running from inside the bus. Leading down up into our propane regulator. Shout out Tale of Two Smitties. They were the ones who gave us this. We wanted in a giveaway. That leads down to the tanks. Now, a couple issues we had with the regulator, and I'm sure this is pretty standard for even new ones. These lines leaked until you tighten them down. They spun loosely, and we installed everything, and I heard the the slight hissing. I was like, oh no, that's not good. I hope we don't have a faulty regulator. But you just had to tighten those two down so you hold the nut on the one side and then you tighten on the other side with the wrench that worked fine right now it's just tied up there with zip ties i want to do that with tube clamps but i didn't have big enough tube clamps so i have to get those from home depot these were easy connections this was a 3 8 fitting on the end of this that went right into the regulator uh, i'm not sure what the gas teflon tape is called but it's teflon tape for gas easy one connection and then these just screw right onto the threads never had an, an issue with these leaking here only things that leaked were these this one was fine this box was pretty easy to make it's just a lot of making sure these things would sit flat and not go anywhere and that bar is just pushed down by a wing nut that's on there so that's her this is where our heat and cooking power will come from to get into it give you the crash course this is where our propane meets within the bus it comes up from underneath our cubby down there to this connection so obviously the t the black line that comes in is what is coming from the cubby left goes to our water heater right goes to our stove those are both half inch fittings just tightened on enough to get on there leak free these lines all came in these uh little kit a lot of people have long runs that they have to run in the bus. We were lucky and only had to run it, I think maybe four feet at most. So we were able to use the prefabbed gas line that you can just get right at Home Depot. But we were fortunate because we didn't have to do any of the flaring or cutting the copper pipe. We didn't have to buy a tool to cut copper pipe. I'll show you what they look like on the hot water heater and on the stove. We also used this, um, it almost looked like like mustard. It was like this yellow goop mud. And I'm not sure what works better. We had no problem with this. We had no problem with the other stuff. We have zero leaks, so I could recommend both to you. I had to buy a different fitting because this, I believe is a half inch, didn't fit onto the three eighths fitting that was coming off of the back of the stove. This is hard to see, I know. There it is. So what I did, I just bought this adapter piece, threw that on, same deal with the thread seal. 
And I tested this for leaks and it's all good to go, which is awesome. Periodically keep checking that just to make sure. Just wanna show you one last thing. I was able to actually install our hot water heater underneath the bus. Uh, I did that so we didn't have to cut another hole in the side for a vent. I do need to protect this a little bit better. What I did was I ran the propane line and the water lines down through this hole. I made sure I like insulated and uh, nothing was rubbing on the metal. And then I just ran everything back behind or around to the bottom of the hot water heater. Used these uh, pipe insulating foam things. They're hugging the lines, making sure they are protected and whatnot. Only thing is, if we end up having any leaks, I might have to take a few off, but I was just curious and got a little carried away. Yeah, this is our last connection for the propane, and uh, pretty simple, just use that goopy stuff. Should be all set to go. Yeah, that is our propane setup. This is my soapy solution. It's half soap, half water. And all you do is spray it, and the gas is on right now, and you wait to see if there's any bubbling. Like almost hoping it leaks so we can see. Well, that sucks. So these are all examples of fittings that we used. Well, first off, they're flare fittings. So whenever you're in Home Depot, you're looking for your couplings, uh, unions, whatever you may be using, always get the flare fittings. They're all yellow, I believe. We either used three eighths or half inch. A lot of people said, you know, don't do your own leak tests. It's dangerous. And I'll have someone that's a professional check it out. But for now, it doesn't leak. It doesn't smell when I have the gas on. So I think it's okay. And I'll monthly check it just to make sure. Really excited about where we're at. And we have friends coming today. Kels and Jay. It's going to be a party. We're going to have a bus party on the block. Block bus party. Blockbuster. Life is good. Be happy. We love you all. So that must feel pretty good. No, we love you. I hope you love us too. What are you smelling for? Propane. Why? <clears throat> because I turned the propane on. What are you doing? <laughs> Just in case. Aww. I know. You gotta do more wrist curls, babe. Hey, this is cool that you can hang out in here. Ashley used to come here and get anxiety. Now she can come here and call it home. Well, I would just look around and there was just so much to do. Smell something. It's called um, gas. Okay. All right. Just woke up from a nap in the bus. Look, we have flames. And you know what's funny? When we first got this, we were turning this knob and we thought it was broken, but it turns out that's actually how sparks and lights the flame. Wow. There is a life I lead in this city Hurry in the cup my tea I can take what I need to Pretty get sweet. by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart will show Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am?